guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are making palazzo pants without pockets this is the fabric i'll be using this fabric is called four-way stretch it's got a little bit stretch in it so i'll be using this fabric i bought two meters of it i have my zipper and my tape measure these are the only equipment i'm gonna need for this so let's go. a first four dealt my fabric into two so what i will do i will mark two inches here upward this line will serve as my waistline the reason why I left two inches upwards is because I will use this two inches as my waist belt. So this line will be our waistline. Let's go on. So now the next line that I need to mark it's the hip line. So for me to get my hip line, my waist to hip measurement is two. My waist to hip measurement it's 11 so from here i will mark 11 inches i will leave the two inches upwards i hope you understand i will mark my 11 like this and then i will draw a line across my hip measurement i will divide my hip circumference by four and that gives me 11.3 I will go and mark my 11.3 this is our 11.3 this is our hip line for me to get my crotch line I will mark two inches downwards two and a half inches downwards and then I will draw a line across like so and i will bring this measurement here this is 11.3 and what i will do i will draw a line a straight line from the waist down you see this is how we do it and i will mark two inches outwards on the crotch line i will mark two inches outwards like so this is our crotch line this is our crotch line and what i will do i will create a curve that gives us our crotch i will come and work on the waistline my waist divided by four it gives me 8.5 now I will mark from this side, I get my 8.5, not from the side, from the crotch side, I will get my 8.5. And I'll come out by one inch for my dad. I hope that's clear. And then I will join this guy. So this is our pants you see this is how we do it and now what i will do i will mark my pants length my pants length is 41 i have to leave the two inches outwards and mark my pants length and that is 41 I'll make 42 including my sewing allowance. I'll make it here. Join this line downwards.
will use this as my front one might ask why we don't have sewing allowance i did not leave any sewing allowance because my fabric is stretchy my fabric is stretchy so i didn't i don't see a need of me leaving the sewing allowance so now we're going to use this to get our back pattern i have placed my front pattern on top of my fabric unfortunately i'm running out of fabric so what i did i only placed one it's not on fold because i need to find ways to get both pieces okay before anything else let's work on our crotch line on our crotch line will come out by two inches will come out by two inches and i'll draw a line there like so yeah i'll come down by one inch so now we're no longer using this line but we are using this one here not this one so on my waistline I will come up by two inches upwards. And I will come in by another two inches. I will come this side, the hip side. I will come out by two inches. And I will connect this line. This one does not work. I'll connect this one to this one. Like this. And with my two inches, I'll come down and meet my hip like this. Here. Now we need to work on our new crotch line and this is how we're gonna do it. We trace this down like so. This is how we got the new hip line. Then we come down by two inches, the one that we added here. We'll go down to our pants length by two. This is our back. To get my dots, I will just mark the center. I will place like this and put a notch to mark. This will be my dots. I'll come down by four inches. I'll open my dots by half an inch. Oops both sides like this 
mark half an inch connect the dot This is our dots. I do the same thing for the big part. Trace the dots. I'll then take this. I'll do the same thing on my front. I'll then take this to my sewing to my sewing machine. When I take it there, I will just sew the crotch line. Sew it down, and I'll do the same thing for the back. To my sewing machine, I sew down my dots. I went to my sewing machine, I sewed down my darts and the crotch line. This is my front pattern. I did the same thing for the back. Now what I will do, my pants will have a zipper on the side. My pants will have a zipper on the side. And what I will do, I will mark the zipper allowance. This is how I will place my pants. Take this to the sewing machine. Banzi to I'll place my pattern like so. I want my zipper to be on this side so what i will do i will leave my 20 inches my 20 centimeters that is like eight inches but i will leave the two meters upwards and i'll come here and mark from seven like so and i will sew down same on the other side this is our pants i've sewn down the sides i left the sewing allowing um the zipper allowance and now what i will do i'll come to my crotch and place this right side on the right side the seam on top of the other seam and i'll pin it down i'll pin pin down the whole pin the whole Yeah, this now with the size of my waist belt, two inches. This is my waist belt, and it's two inches. This is our pants. So now, what I have to do is to attach the waist belt. I went on to cut it. So now I will just attach my waist belt. I will pin it down like so. I've pinned down everything. I'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it down here. Now I have to attach my zipper. I went on to attach my Ellis band. So now I'll go on and attach my zipper. Then what I will do, I'll come and hem the bottom. Then.
I've attached my waist folds. This is our pants. This is the final look. But then I want to accessorize it with my black and gold buttons. So these are the buttons I'm gonna use. It's eight. I'm gonna place four here and four on the other side. So what I will mark, come here on the dots. I'll first mark my first button will be there and I want it to be in separation in two inches then will be four and here will be six like so just below the dots like this I'll do the same thing on the other side this is our tutorial for today mic here two inches apart four six then I'm gonna sew down the whole thing this is it we have come to the end of our tutorial this is how our pants look like this is our pants this is our pants if you have watched until this far please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to hit the notification bell to like and to comment down below this was the easiest way to make this pants they came out nice i love them i love them this is the end of our tutorial. Bye.